Ultra Instinct is seen as the pinnacle of power. Ever since training with Whis, Ultra Instinct has been the goal, the end game. However, there really does seem to be a limitless amount of potential with how far you can push these characters with their new forms and how powerful they can really become. Ultra Instinct seems like it may be the final form, but as long as this series keeps going on, it probably won't be. And there have already been countless depictions of what's beyond Ultra Instinct. Omni King powered Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Ultra Instinct. You can make the comparison though, when Super Saiyan God was first introduced introduced in the series, you'd have a hard time thinking of a form more powerful than something called Super Saiyan God, but we all know it did happen. By fusing base form Super Saiyan with the God power, you achieve Super Saiyan Blue, and that is one level above Super Saiyan God. And a similar thing could easily be done with Ultra Instinct. Probably the most renowned adaption of this is the fan animation by UHG Animations. Taking place at the end of the Tournament of Power, when Goku and Jiren are the only ones left, however this time, it goes off the idea that the Grand Prix is evil, so instead of Goku and Jiren fighting each other, they have to fight the Grand Priest. Interesting concept, but naturally though, even the combined efforts of Goku and Jiren cannot defeat or even touch the Grand Priest. As much as Jiren tries, the Grand Priest is just too much and he slams him into this crater. Goku then taps into the completed version of Ultra Instinct and tries to take the Grand Priest head on with a Kamehameha wave. Even still, this doesn't do anything and you can see that as powerful as Ultra Instinct and Jiren both are, they don't even come close to the Grand Prix, so the idea is they have to find the next level above Ultra Instinct. Going beyond Ultra Instinct, this is that fan animation, the Grand Prix pushes both Goku and Jiren to their limits and they're fighting in tandem. It comes to a point where the Daishinkan starts fighting back. He makes Goku's stomach look like it's made out of rubber and he stomps on Jiren's back. This pushes Goku to try something that has never been even thought of before until this very moment, transforming into a Super Saiyan while in the state of Ultra Instinct. Goku he begins powering up, starting with Super Saiyan 1, then quickly to 2, but the main point here is Goku's going all the way to Super Saiyan 3 in his Ultra Instinct form, and the look on the Grand Prix's face, Goku is going all the way. Planets from around the solar system are exploding on impact of this energy. The multiverse itself seems to be a risk. The Omni King, his guards Vegeta, and even Beerus, they're all taken back by this immense power, and when the smoke settles, we are left with a white-haired Super Saiyan 3 Ultra Instinct Goku. That's where the concept comes from. That was the first time it was ever done legit in any kind of animation. When when you try to even think of levels above and beyond Ultra Instinct, it gets kind of challenging because the whole point of Ultra Instinct is that it is the perfect martial arts form. It's what the angels use and so far, no one is stronger than them. Even if you became a god, Ultra Instinct is still above that. So to somehow surpass this form that is already angelic, you'd have to think on an omniversal level, like an Omni King type character. The idea of a Super Saiyan 3 type Ultra Instinct fusing other forms with Ultra Instinct, there may not be much of a point to it aside from just aesthetics. Honestly though, Ultra Instinct as it is right now is the final form, it's the angelic level and nothing can come close to it. Any time it has been used, it has won. Finding a level of power beyond Ultra Instinct makes sense because it's something the series always does as it goes on. It gets more and more powerful. However, throughout all of Dragon Ball Super, no one has even come close to the power of the angels and that's basically all they use. For right now though, there is still a lot of room to grow with Ultra Instinct itself. However, straight away, as soon as the quote unquote final form comes out, everyone wants to know, how's it gonna be possible to get stronger than this? Is it even possible? That was a Super Saiyan 3 merged with Ultra Instinct. I want to thank Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next Dragon Ball video.